Hey guys, what's going on? Rob Baldwin here, IMX Productions, 10 Minute Design. I got a request for tutorial a while back from uh, Mikel Miguez, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, about how to create a Chiss character. So if you're a Star Wars fan, if you clicked on this video, I'm assuming you're a Star Wars fan, uh, you're familiar with the Expanded Universe and the the race known as the Chiss, the most notably Grand Admiral Thrawn, uh, blue face characters, red glowing eyes, those are their basic characteristics. Um, so I'm going to show you how to turn a photograph into a into a Chiss character. Obviously online, obviously we haven't seen these characters in any films, so most most of the photos you see online are either um, from comics or artist renderings and stuff like that. This is kind of the best one I could find. Now what I'm going to attempt to do, so I'm going to change uh, the color of my photograph to blue skin, such as this, and then for the glowing eyes I'm going to show you a few variations, but basically I'm going to go for a slightly more realistic, just of a red eye, maybe like kind of a bright red eye, and then I'll show you some some ways of getting it uh, more glowy after that. Okay, so here we have. If you've if you're familiar with my work, you've seen this the this uh, notorious photo of my colleague John. A little silly for uh, for a chiss, but uh, let's uh, let's turn him into one. Okay, so what we're going to do is simply select part of his skin and then we're going to come down here to the adjustment layers and add a hue and saturation. We're then simply going to change this until we get our desired blue. That's looking pretty good. Let's maybe lower the uh, lightness. You can play with these. I would not do lightness too much or saturation too much. Really stick to hue, but that's looking good. I like that. We can adjust that later. For now, with the mask selected, let's get a brush, make sure that's at 100%. We'll go kind of a low hardness, but not all the way to zero. Make sure it's white. And all we want to do is draw in the rest of the skin. I'm going to go all the way around. I'm going to get, I'm going to go over the eyebrows. I'm going to go over the lips, obviously avoid the teeth and the mouth. And I'm going to try to avoid the hair as much as possible. I'll show you how to blend that a bit later. Okay, so I'm just going to speed up for now. Blend around the hair, but I don't want to get the hair all blue. I know some of the photos online of Chiss have blue hair. I think it looks kind of silly. Um, so what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to still grab my white brush, have the mask selected, maybe lower the size, lower the opacity or the hardness all the way down to zero, and then lower the opacity maybe to around 50. And then my white selected, I'm just going to go around the edges of the hair like this. Okay, so we're just blending it. So of course you'd see a bit of the scalp underneath the hair, so this kind of helps to kind of make that blue continue on. But I don't want too much blue in the hair. I want to keep... There we go. I think that blends pretty well. Alright. Okay, let's get to the eyes. So from here, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to brighten his eyes. So. What I want to do is grab the dodge tool, and I'm just going to go around, just see how that brightens up. That's step number one. Number two, new layer, grab our red brush from here, 100% opacity, and we're just going to brush red right around the eyes, just like that. And simply switch that from normal to color dot add or overlay, whichever one you think gives you the best result. I think overlay in this case is the best result. Now, this gives me kind of realistic looking red eyes. So they're just very, very red eyes. If we wanted to give it more of a glow effect, then we could just uh, drop the opacity of my brush and continue brushing around just like that. That give me a bit more of a glow. And if we want even more glow beyond that, what we could do is add another layer, brush even more red, add another layer beneath that, make that one black, merge these two, and then give it an add over top. Now we're getting quite a glow. I think that's a bit much. I think this is a kind of very convincing photo 
It's basically a tutorial on how to, we've created a Chiss character, but it's basically a tutorial on how to change skin color and eye color in Photoshop. Okay, if you like what you see, please check out some of my other tutorials. I can show you a bit more about how to change eye colors in this tutorial here. And down here you can see uh, my wedding lightsaber tutorial, how to create a cool wedding photo of the entire wedding party holding lightsabers. It was a lot of fun. Okay, uh, check me out on social media, all the links uh, below, imxproduction.com, find me there, and at my personal website, robertbaldwin.ca. Okay, so thank you guys, thanks for watching, we'll see you next time. Cheers.